Welcome to another episode of Old School. This is The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask on the Nintendo 64. So, this is the beginning, guys. I've just started this game. And I thought, yeah, let's, pl let's play some of this. Let's hit record. Because you guys, or a few of you guys, were saying to me in previous episodes... Um, why don't you try all the Zelda games? So, we're up to here. We're up to Majora's Mask on N64. And then after this, it will be... Oh, I can't remember what's after this. Let me know in the replies. Got quite a few Zelda games to go now. Um, I've never played this, guys. I've played most of the Zelda games. I've never played this for whatever reason. And, um, yeah... It's interesting the N64 had two... Did it have two Zelda games or did it have more than that? I don't know why that's interesting, it just is. Maybe because the snares only had one, didn't it, in uh, Link to the Past. Which is up there, like most people, as my favourite Zelda game of all time. But anyway, enough about that. Let's get into this. Look at this dude. Okay. So, yeah, before... Um before this, I covered the N64 Zelda Ocarina of Time. My memory, guys. I always talk about it, don't I? My memory. Oh, that's the thing. You've got him Ocarina of Time. Hey, Skull Kid. Let me touch it. Oh, uh, so we've got two fairies here. This is creepy. I don't know why, but I find it creepy. Um, yeah, Ocarina of Time was fantastic. What a game. But all I'll say when it comes to that game is... I, I try to play more of it, like, in my spare time, not, not for the channel, after making that video. And I fell off, guys. I It's the camera. The camera was too annoying for me. I hope it's improved for this. Like I say, I haven't played this Zelda before. What's going on here? Music's fantastic, as to be expected with the Zelda games. I've also got some reviews in front of me, guys, on the iPad. So I'll glance over and uh, give you the reception that this received back in the day. So, hello, look, I am Link. This is me. It's weird starting with this shield and stuff, because I play so much Breath of the Wild, and one day I'll finish that game. I'm still playing it. I usually play it at bedtime, so, yeah, play it in bed on the Switch. Um, but, yeah, it's weird seeing this at the beginning, because obviously in Breath of the Wild you don't get the good stuff until way, 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 way later on in your adventure. You're going to have to bear with me as well, guys, because I am not... Um, yeah, I'm a noob. I'm a newbie. Do people still say that when it comes to the Zelda games on N64? Um, I just don't like the control system on N64, but that is something I've talked about a lot on the channel before. I don't want to bore you guys. Anyway... He's got a strange walk animation in this. Is it the same as Ocarina of Time? I'm not sure. Here we go. So, yeah, hold in for me left trigger. I'm using the Nintendo Switch Pro controller because it works really well with Windows. I'm emulating via RetroArch, if you are wondering. Hey, here we go. I'm a pro. I'm a pro using the Pro controller. I'm not really... Oh, beautifully, beautifully, <laughs> beautiful graphics, visuals are really nice. Oh, trippy. Look at this. This is cool. I think around this time I'd fallen off of RPGs a bit or action RPGs or action adventures, whatever you want to class this game as. Don't call my horse stupid. 
yeah, I was probably spending a lot of time with the PS1 at this point. <laughs> this thing's creepy. What? What's it supposed to be? Oh, what's going on here? But yeah, I like this so far. It's cool. I know we've only seen like three seconds of it, but... I love the art style in these Zelda games around this era. Oh, this, this is creepy. This is what I said in Ocarina of Time video. Zelda can get dark. It really can be a creepy... Uh, game at times It's not all cutesy cutesy like you would think if you're just going from snippet to footage on the internet It's it's a creepy game or dark. It has dark themes going on At times, I mean it is an accessible game obviously for uh, For kids as well as adults Oh what? So, okay, this is why it's called Majora's Mask. It makes sense now. I've probably missed it somewhere, but is that dude called Majora who's... Yeah, that evil thing. I don't know. I just don't know. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, or I was, I was starting to say before I started waffling on about other stuff... Left trigger for me, or for everyone, is is the camera. It kind of resets the camera, and I think it's how you make Link run. It's more or less the same controls as Ocarina of Time, which isn't a good thing. So that's, yeah, that's making me a little bit sceptical about this game already, even though I'm sure it's pretty cool. And also, like Ocarina of Time, you start, by the looks of things, in some sort of dungeony place. Like you've got to escape the, the dungeon or, or whatever it was in Ocarina of Time, I can't remember. But there's a section at the beginning where you're killing spiders and that kind of thing. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? That sounds good to me. Skull Kid. That's what they call him, Skull Kid. I don't think Skull Kid is Majora, is he? Oh, the yellow C buttons. What's it gonna be on this controller, though? That's the thing. Right, so you can dive, apparently. No, that's attack. That's attack. Oh, what am I doing? Um, yeah, that's when you hold the left trigger. <laughs> you can do side steps and all that kind of thing. It's very similar, if not exactly the same as Ocarina. Did this game get a remake or remaster, guys, for the 3DS? Let me know. I love the Zelda games. That's cool. I love the Zelda games, but I would no way say that I'm an aficionado. I'm not... Yeah, I'm not up with the lore and that kind of thing when it comes to Zelda. I just enjoyed them when I was a kid. Right. Oh, this is cool. You can aim now. Okay. Ah, oh, look at this. This is Nintendo. I love the stuff they come up with when it comes to the gameplay mechanics and reinventing their first-party games. It's They're just masters at it, aren't they? <laughs> I'm getting used to the controls, guys. You're going to have to bear with me. If it gets a bit tedious, I'll edit it out until I... Or until things get a little bit more exciting for you. But maybe we won't. Maybe you can just enjoy watching me uh, uh, be a noob. Here we go.
That dark music in the background as well. It's, it's creepy stuff. So what is... What I'm trying to do, guys, I should should be telling you this while whilst I'm just, like, messing around. I'm trying to see if there is a free camera where I can just rotate the stick and look around 365 degrees. 365 degrees? 360 degrees? <laughs> 365 days in a year? Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't think you can. I don't think you've got the free camera. I'm so used to that, obviously, with modern Zelda. But around th these days... Oh, am I going to make it? Yeah, I, I don't like the camera system in this or the controls. Again, it was a thing. Oh, I got a Deku nut. Deco, Deku. Pretty sure it's Deku. Um... I'm pretty sure... No, not pretty sure. It was a theme for me in regards to N64 gaming. What... Yeah, what spoiled it, essentially, for me. Even though I, I owned an N64, I loved Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, and the Zelda games. It was always the controller that let me down because of how... They'd incorporate the systems of that controller. I'm just looking at nothing here, sorry. <laughs> but they just incorporate or try to incorporate the the new controller with said game, if that makes any sense. And I wasn't a fan at all. Like, we'd, we'd just come from the SNES controller, which I loved. And then we went to the N64 controller, and there... Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, we then went to the N64 controller, and then the GameCube controller, which is even worse, in my opinion. It was like a Tomy toy. And, uh, yeah, I was like, where is just the, the comfort and the simplicity of the SNES controller? But anyway, some people love the N64 controller. I personally think it's like a... It feels like a... And looks like a claw of some kind. And if you are new to the channel, you've just stumbled across this video and you're interested in seeing me um, be rubbish at the other Zelda games as well, they're just quick looks and chats about these games, just going down, trip down memory lane. I started off with A Link to the Past, then I played Zelda, the first game on the NES, then I played Zelda 2 on the NES, then Ocarina of Time, and now we are up to... Oh, what am I doing? And now we are up to here. Majora's Mask on the Nintendo 64. And I am back. You would have noticed the quick edit there. My son burst into the room. So, uh, yeah. I'm back, as you can see. And I uh, have not progressed at all. But I can't remember what I was talking about now. But it is fun playing through all of these old Zeldas. I really want to know what was next after this, and I won't know until I hit up Google, or just check your replies, actually. I'd rather hear from you guys. Because I'm trying to play them in chronological order, not in regards to story or timeline, because I wouldn't have a clue, but in regards to releases. Right, okay. Alright, so press left trigger and talk to me. Oh, those damn yellow buttons. I'm pressing up on the D-pad. Nothing's happening there. Oh, I don't know. But this is a good showcase, guys, because it shows you one. I'm not very, <laughs> I'm not very good at these old Zeldas or the Zeldas on N64. And two, it also showcases my frustrations with this damn controller. I just get flustered by it. I don't know why. I'm not that bad at video games. <laughs> famous last words it's just this is just oh and because i'm making this video and talking to you guys as well i feel like oh no i'm under pressure here i've got to show you guys that i'm okay at zelda and i don't have to at all it's not about that this series old school's not about that it's about memories so there's the pause menu what i'm also trying to do is see if there's a way that I can zoom the camera out because I find it's too close to Link a lot of the time. But you can't. I don't think. Again, let me know 
if you uh, if you know more than me, which you will. But that's the easier way to talk to the fairy, or whoever that's supposed to be. Oh, okay. But yeah, this is cool. I like it. I do like this game. Already, I'm like, oh, this has piqued my interest. Here we go. What's happening here? It's dungeon time. I loved how the old Zelda just threw you in. Okay. Where now? Where to go? Yeah, this looks really nice graphically, doesn't it, for its time. Who's that dude? Oh, wow, that's creepy. That is... <laughs> that is creepy, guys. I own the Happy Mask shop. Oh, that's really creepy. You're going to hear the word creepy a lot. Okay, so he's... Oh, oh my god. Yes, please, return me to my former self. But yeah, I literally know nothing about this game, guys. Apart from the reviews that I can see in front of me on the iPad. Which I will tell you about in a minute it's it's not gonna be a surprise to anyone when it comes to the scores uh let's have a look here i see you are young and have tremendous courage i'm sure you'll find it right away hopefully yeah so in edge magazine this received a nine out of ten Edge Magazine was um, a publication that I used to buy on a regular basis. Um, very, yeah, they were very hard in their reviews. Ooh, Dawn of the First... 72 hours remain! Hey, I don't think I've seen a timed Zelda game before. It's not going to be 72 hours, is it, in, like, real time, though? I wonder what it will be scaled at. Yes, he gives me the creeps. I'm thinking the same thing. I said the same thing. Oh, here we go. Listen to that music. So, yeah, Edge gave it a 9 out of 10. EGM, Electronic Gaming Monthly, gave it a 10 out of 10. Famitsu, the Japanese publication, gave it a 37 out of 40. And then it just had loads of nines and nines and tens. So it's a good <laughs> it's a good game. The lowest score it had was at GameSpot, which Oh <laughs> It's a little Westy. It's a little Westy dog. My mum used to have a Westy. Um what was I saying? Yeah, GameSpot gave this an 8.3 out of 10, which is still a very good score, but yeah, surprising. Okay, so the theme is clocks and time and that kind of thing, by the looks of things. Um, <laughs> look at this dude. He's not going to let me out, is he? Deku Scrub, that's not very nice. Oh, I am old enough. I promise. Just let me through. Oh yeah, it is a it is a it, reliant on time, isn't it? Like stuff opening and closing at certain times and that kind of thing. Is this a roguelike? Before roguelikes were a thing. I mean, it's not. It's obviously an RPG, an action RPG. Action adventure. Would you class Zelda as an RPG, guys? It's not a traditional RPG. I mean, 
What's this? Okay, I don't know what that means. But yeah, please let me know where this stands or how this stands up. Look at that dude dancing. How this stands up compared to the other Zeldas that you love. Is it in your... Would it make your top three? I'm not so sure if it would for me. But again, I've only been pay playing for what? 15 minutes? I don't know about this time thing. Maybe this... Is this like a tutorial and like... I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying here. I love this though. Yeah, what I was going to say is, is it like the first kind of hour of the game, just when you're getting used to the controls and all that kind of thing, and the, the tutorial, essentially, yeah, you, the time stuff stops after that, and it's just back to normal Zelda. <laughs> the Deku Scrub House. Um, oh, what's happening here, then? Shall we take a look? Oh, it's that music again. It's that creepy music. Uh, okay. Oh, no, I haven't got ten rupees. I've got four. Can I still play anyway? Let's have a look. Um... No, I don't think I'll bother. I'll come back when, I've have, when I have ten rupees. How do I leave, though? Do I just jump out? Let's have a look. Yes. Yeah, I don't know about this game. <laughs> I'm not sure, guys. I prefer Ocarina of Time. I'll say that. Like, first impressions. Very, very, very early first impressions. I know Zelda games take a while to open up, usually. But, like, do they? Like, A Link to the Past. I, I was in love after five minutes. So, I don't know. There's something not right with this game, and I can't put my finger on it. Oh, I love the fairy music. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. A bit creepy, though. There's something creepy about this game. Okay. Fair enough. Let's have a quick look around the village, and then um, I'll bring the video to an end. And yeah, please, guys, let me know what you want to see next in regards to Zelda. So, preferably... I can't see the word. Prefer... <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Look at this dude. Yeah, um, let me know what's next up in the in the timeline. Could you be, by chance, a forest fairy? My name is Tingle. Oh, look at his face. He's creepy as well. What is this? Is it a survival horror? Um. Yeah, okay. I will sell you a map for cheap. As a sign of my friendship. Everyone's selling you something in Zelda. No one gives anything away. I have no money, so it's a no thanks. Um, let's try and have a look at his face. Because it, <laughs> it's like typical N64... <laughs> N64 NPC or enemy face, isn't it? Like golden eye enemies. It, it's definitely that aesthetic. But yeah, this is Zelda, Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. Very, very early, early, early on in the game. It's been cool taking a look at it. I don't know if I'm going to play much more. I might to... Oh, that Skull Kid has gone too far. Yeah, I might play on for a few hours just to see if this time mechanic thing is a thing throughout the entire game. But, um... It's okay. It's decent. It's Zelda. It's it's a good Zelda, from what I can tell. But
but it's it's not up there with the greats for me. Not so far, anyway. But again, these are these are early days, so I will play some more off air if you like after I stop recording, and uh, I'll reply to you guys in the replies with my thoughts when I've played some more. <laughs> 